In this video, I head over to Amsterdam to take some panning pictures of cyclists. Adorama TV presents Take and Make Great Photography with Gavin Hoey. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that has everything for us photographers. Now, you join me here today in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, well known for a couple of things, good weather not being one of them. But the thing we're interested in isn't the one you're thinking about, it's bicycles. Because today I'm gonna to do a panning shot of some bicycles to really put some movement and excitement into what would be quite a static, wet, rainy day picture. Now, before I do the shoot, let's just run through the setup. First of all, I'm using my L-series lens. It's raining, it's wet. This lens is weather sealed, so that's probably a good thing. And there's a reason I'm doing this in the rain, you'll see why in a minute. Next is my camera settings. So I'm gonna shoot in TV on a Canon or S on most other cameras, shutter priority mode, because I wanna control the shutter speed with panning. That's what really makes the shot work because you're gonna be moving the camera and tracking a moving subject. As far as focusing goes, I don't want to be on manual focus or autofocus. I want my camera to continuously refocus. So I'm going to go for AI servo or continuous autofocus. Also, my drive, I don't want one shot. I'm going to take lots of pictures. I'm not going to get it right the first time. It's going to take me a few shots. So I'll be in high speed shooting or continuous shooting mode. Right, that's the camera set. Let's go find some moving subjects. Come with me. So to photograph my cyclists, I've just moved to uh, a little bit closer to the road where the uh, cyclists are usually a plenty. Of course, just as I stand here, there are none, but they will be coming, don't worry. So shutter speed is the vital ingredient inside of shooting a panning shot. And it's not a question of a certain shutter speed. It's a matter of choosing the right shutter speed for the lighting conditions, for the speed of your subject, for the zoom that you're using. So what I can't tell you is one setting that will work for everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the 60th of a second and then I'm going to go slowly down. Um, I'm probably going to go from straight from a 60th to a 30th. All we need is a few bikes. So let's start with the 60th of a second. Shutter priority mode. Find a cyclist. <laughs> Here we go. And you want to try and keep your movement nice and fluid as the cyclists go by. I can see another one coming, they're coming. Here we go. Okay, so 60th was okay, but let's drop it down to a 30th of a second and we'll take a couple of other shots there because I reckon 30th of a second for bicycles, the speed they're going today is going to be perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so a 30th of a second is my killer speed. That's what's giving me the great movement in the background, but still giving me an ability to keep up with the cyclists. If I go any slower than a 30th of a second, then it becomes very hard to get the panning to be smooth with the flow of the cyclist, and I end up with a picture that's a little bit soft and blurry. And it's all about experimentation and not necessarily just choosing one aperture or one shutter speed in this case and sticking with it, but going with the flow and trying a couple of different pictures. Practice makes perfect when it comes to panning. So let's grab a few more pictures and see what else I can get. Amsterdam cycling with an umbrella. Bad. So there we go, we got some great pictures of cyclists in the rain here in Amsterdam. All I need to do now is to get back in the drive, back in my studio, and let's see what we can do with the pictures. And we're gonna do that right now. 
It really didn't matter what the weather was doing in Amsterdam, there was always something to see and some great photographs to be had. And the panning shots of the bicycles, well, if you've been to Amsterdam, you know there are bicycles everywhere there, so it was an obvious choice to do. Some of the pictures were great, others were less so, and that's all par for the course when you're doing panning. Not every picture is gonna be a winner, but I did get some good ones. Let's have a look. So this shot really sums up everything I think panning in Amsterdam and bicycles. I love this shot. We've got this uh, girl cycling through a busy street, holding an umbrella, wearing earphones. It's, it's perfect. So I'm happy with the shot, but the colors in the picture I think need a bit of work. So there's these really bright signs in the background that are a little bit distracting, the yellow and the blue one here, and a few bits of red that I'd like to just to, to reduce the color. And there's a couple of ways I'm gonna do it. Let's start with the most simple way. I'm gonna jump over to the HSL stroke grayscale tab. And here I'll be working on the saturation option. And I can change the saturation or the intensity of colors in my picture. So for example, I can target the blues and I can just sort of bring the blues down or I can make the blues stronger by moving the slider side to side. And I'm looking at this sign here. Now as I move it around, it definitely takes away the blue, but if you look around the picture, you'll see all of the blues in the picture are changing as well. So this is a global adjustment, everything changes. And although I don't mind it in this case, you do have to watch these global adjustments, I reckon I can lose a little bit of blue on the tram and not lose any impact in the picture. There's a bit of green here, so I think I can probably lose the greens in the same way, just bring it down. I don't think there's much else that's green in this image. Uh, and the